The annual Haddonfield Crafts and Fine Arts Festival kicked off today. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Marcella Bayeto shares how the community came out to support local artists. King's Highway was packed with hundreds of people going in and out of tents to check out artistic creations. You get here and it doesn't look as big, but it actually it is a lot bigger than it seems. This year's Haddonfield Crafts and Fine Arts Festival showcased work from over 200 artists like Trisha Chacon with Studio Tavik. To have people just pass by, oh wow, I love your work. I mean, I, it just feels so good to be able to, to bring that kind of joy into someone's life. And that feedback from people is what fuels her to keep working after she injured the hand she paints with four years ago, falling down a flight of stairs. Now I'm learning how to paint with my left. I still use it as a therapy tool for me, and it definitely helped with that. She's also had a switch from larger city landscapes to more abstract color field work. It's forcing me to do that kind of work. I used to do a lot of detail, very fine detail, um, but I don't have the range of motion in my wrist right now. Her new art caught the eye of Brian Goldberg, who picked up a framed colorful piece. It's a relaxation and it kind of captures a bit of the world. And even with the heat and this bit of rain, it didn't stop families from enjoying what the festival had to offer. To get a break from the heat, many stopped by a smoothie stand before checking out more arts and crafts. The artwork is just stunning. Uh, I, I really love just supporting local artists whenever I can. We have something to offer for everyone. A festival allowing artists like Chacon to share their true colors with others. In Haddonfield, Marcella Bayeto, CBS News, Philadelphia. And the festival continues tomorrow in Haddonfield, but the schedule has changed a bit because of possible storms. The hours are now 9 a.m. to 1 p.m.